Absolutely. Very excited to have you here. David Phillips, Senior Climatologist, Environment Canada. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jeff. Nice to be with you. It's been an amazing November. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's been a, a what a roll. I mean, July, August, September, October, November, drier than normal, mm -hmm. uh, warmer than normal. Probably our numbers aren't yet in, Jeff, of course, for the end of November. So we're not sure whether this is the warmest fall on record. Okay. But clearly it's going to have to be uh, close to that, particularly November. My gosh, not a flake of snow here in, in, in Ottawa up till up to my arrival today. Uh, that's never happened before in right. records that go back to the 1930s. So it's a remarkable uh, 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 record. And, and I'm sure there are a lot of people in the Ottawa Valley are probably hiding under their bed because there's a feeling out there by Canadians that when you get some good weather, that yes. nature's going to make up for it. That's right. That's exactly what you feel like. You're like, oh boy, we're going to get nailed. Now, yes. um, before I talk to you about this winter, uh, let's. I want to ask you about the implications because, you know, people are always excited about nice weather and you get yes. to be outside and it's nice you enjoy the area a little bit more uh, in different ways so uh, in terms of the warmer temperatures uh, is this part of climate change well, no, I always say, you know, look out the window, you see weather, you don't see climate. So climate change is something That's over, right. yeah. you know, uh, decades to, to half century. And clearly we know the seasons here in the Ottawa Valley as they are across the country and across the world. They're, they're warming up. Uh, uh, stick a thermometer in the planet, hey, it shows <laughs> yeah. uh, a global fever. Right. But um, I think what I always say, enjoy the weather, but maybe be concerned by the climate. Right. Uh, and uh, But certainly uh, we know that... Uh, uh, falls, uh, in previous falls it, it have been cooler, uh, so it doesn't really mean, even if it turns out to be a tough winter, doesn't mean that uh, climate change has ended. Uh, right. So I think there's, uh, you have to put that in perspective. In fact, we may even see uh, larger snowfalls as a result of warmer temperatures. Yeah. Because Absolutely. of where snow usually falls in terms of temperature range. Exactly, Jeff. You know, I often think people think, oh, well, we're going to be Miami of the north eventually. <laughs> no, uh, we're still maybe that we'll still be the land of ice and snow. And I often think, especially in this part of the, of the country, where, you know, sometimes warmer temperatures can mean more snow before you get less snow. Right. Where you'll get winters that were so mild that you'll get the rain rather than the snow. But getting there, we may see a lot. Because, you know, in parts of Canada, if it's too cold to snow, uh, mm -hmm west for example yeah well you can see people actually out there and enjoying it from a human oh. perspective it's unbelievably great it um, is. I want to talk about your calendar it's so popular every single year it comes out and now it's available everywhere all bookstores it right? is you know the 24th year for it Jeff I mean it used to be a, a black and white available only in government bookstores <laughs> yes. you couldn't find it that right. was the challenge and now it's uh, even outsells the Playboy calendar which is uh, well that hey, tells you what our priorities are right uh, no, well the, and it's the number one topic it's the number one things Canadians use as small talk weather and I like the fact that this isn't all beautiful pictures this is really representative of Canada there are obviously some great snacks yes it's a beautiful landscapes but people struggling in the weather yes. I mean, uh, like canoeing on the Fundy National Park hmm. Lake or wow. uh, beautiful hair here's a, a, a scene in in Halifax uh, after Hurricane Juan that yanked out a hundred million trees across Nova Scotia and PEI so not always uh, blue skies and white puffy clouds in yes. this calendar I mean we were seeing some uh, interesting events happen and some of them with dire effects, uh, the microbursts, massive wind uh, that's been blowing through. We saw yes. the, uh, the tragedy that happened at Blues Fest this year. Absolutely. These are things, uh, the weather needs to be respected. Oh, I think so. And you know, I think, I always feel that Canadians do respect the weather. Yeah. I mean, think about it, Jeff. There are more Canadians die falling off ladders yeah. than die from weather. And not because we have a gentle country. I mean, as you know, I mean, we have uh, some of the worst weather in the world. And yet Canadians seem well educated about the weather. Yeah. They're informed about the weather. They don't leave home without getting the weather word. You see, they don't do necessarily foolish things. Mm -hmm. And I think that is to our credit as Canadians. We're educated about the weather and we have that fascination about weather. We talk about it more than any other subject and that prepares us for future conditions. Totally out of time, but uh, maybe in a couple of words, what are we looking at for this winter? Average, m severe, Mild. Well, we see most of the country colder than normal, but in the Ottawa Valley, we think that the early part of winter will be milder than normal. Okay. The toughest part will be towards the end. All right. Thank you very much. David okay, Phillips, Jeff. Senior Climatologist from Environment Canada. Always a pleasure to have you on the program. We're back with more on CTV Morning Live after this.